So I don't think. <clears throat> you said you got 27 pounds of air in that tire? Yeah. The back one. You're crazy. It's probably gonna explode. Fine with me. Scare the crap out of you. No. It's, it's below me. It won't be too loud. How's it going? Pretty good. I wasn't really money last night. It's just dust, really. Not too much mud, not like last year. So that'll be worth the 150 grand this boon hour spent right there. If we don't have to spend six, seven hours washing the car every Sunday. Yeah. I'm fine with them spending that money. It saves us time. <laughs> no, I thought the track was pretty good. Obviously, there's one hole. Yeah. One hole in the one corner. I mean, that's pretty damn good for just putting a whole new surface on the first time on it. It definitely wasn't as dusty as last year. I mean, on the track, I didn't feel like it was. I was in the stands a lot, so I don't really know. Yeah, no, it was uh, very dusty the last few years. It was definitely nowhere near as dusty last night. I mean, obviously, there's still dust. It's a dirt track, but yeah. it was much better. So you're washing your car up, and then what? We're going to... Wheel stud? Yeah, wheel stud. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go see what he's doing. So get that wash good, make sure you do a good job. What you doing? Grand tires. It's my first tire. Yeah? That's good. You do it to the right rear? Yeah. You're doing a good job. What are you grinding tires for? Uh, we just raced last night, and we're going to race again at five mile point speedway. You're going to race? Yep. Um, Pablo, the control arms, we're loose, crap, I tighten them. In the front? Yeah. Like the lower control arms? They're supposed to be loose. So make sure that you, anything like what? that you tell me, because now we need to pick it back what? up and loosen them back up. Oh. Some of them were tight. Two of them are tight. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna look at them together. Anything else like that you did, make sure you tell me. I'm pretty sure I've told you that several times before. You only told me the upper control arms. I did the lower ones. The upper control arms in the front have to be tight. The upper A-frames. The lower control arms in the front need to be loose. They have lock nuts on them. You, want, you don't want to crank them down. You want them loose so that the lower control arm can flex, can move freely. This stud is loose. There are actually two of them. This, this one is a little bit loose, and then that one's very loose. Yeah. You have to find me two old lug nuts, and then I'll tighten them up. So, you want to talk about last night? Do your... Uh, what do we call it? Post, pre, post race interview. Yeah. Sunday post race interview. Yep. How'd it go? It was really good. It went good. Yeah. Um, you, did you do good? Yeah, I think I did pretty good. Overdrove it a few times, but I didn't spin out, and I'm pretty sure that's a little normal for a rookie. You won. I would say you did good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you raced the rookie class. Obviously, you're a rookie. You've only raced a car one time before last night. Mm -hmm. And that was my car with pillows and stuff stuff behind you. So, yeah. not like you were very comfortable. So, I mean, honestly, this is really your first time racing a car that's fitted to you and yeah, for, me. for you. So, so your first, really your first race, basically, you won. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, it was a rookie class, but not to, not to uh, <clears throat> say anything bad about any of the other rookies, but you are a lot faster than them. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're thinking that you want to Move up. go up to the regular class already? Yeah. You don't want to stay in the rookie class for another week or two? Not really. Let them do some, like, wins or, you know? Yeah. That's nice of you. Obviously, see how you do in the regular class. You're, you're, I don't think that you're as fast as everyone out there in the regular class no, yeah definitely not obviously but i don't i don't know i don't think you'd get lapped no i, I don't think, think you so. i think you're i think you're probably mid-pack in the regular class already 
that'd be really cool if I could do that. We'll find out uh, next yeah. Saturday night, right? Mm-hmm. So you had fun? You like racing? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. You want to keep racing? Oh, yeah. Cool, but so now's the hard part, though, right? Washing the car? It's not really hard. It just takes a lot of time, and it's annoying. Just, just, uh, kind of sucks. Yeah. There's better things you'd rather be doing? Yeah, that's not really a lot. <laughs> I, this is probably good just to do this. Gives me something to do. Didn't spin out at all. Didn't spin out, nope. Didn't hit anyone. Nope. No scratches, no dents. That's more than we can say for Dominic. Yeah. He spun out and hit people. Yeah. And he's got a new car. And he's got scratches and dents. And a hole. And a hole right in the body. <laughs> yeah, you did good. Thanks. So I guess we'll uh, <clears throat> see how Dominic does tonight. Mm-hmm. So when you get over here, so that you see how the tire's starting to slope down this way? So you gotta bring the angle of your grinder up. So you gotta kind of follow the, the angle of the grinder. You know what I mean? You're doing good. Good? Yep. That's good. And I, I try to use the uh, the out the side of the grinder, not the front of the grinder. Try to use the side. And then I told Hayden, just concentrate on the top. Just go from like here to here. So you're not trying to lean down way over there and way over here. Just do like from here to here. And then we can turn the tire. So when you're... Yeah, you're coming back over here around, right about here, you gotta start tipping it down. You were holding it up like this. So you gotta start tipping it down, following the tire. Cause you wanna keep this flat on the tire at all times. Like not all the way flat, but this edge here. Floor it before you get on it. I think you're using the wrong side. So yeah, oh, like okay. that. But since you're here, you want to be like, like that. This is complicated. Check that out. What did you just do, dude? Please. You got the air filter top and bottom all cleaned up? Ready to put like the new air filter on? Yep. No, you put the put the bottom on. This is the bottom. Yeah, put it on the carburetor. Oh, in here? Yeah. Like this way? Yep. Like yeah. Yep, just be very careful you don't knock anything down in there. You guys I don't know if you guys don't know if anything goes down in there, the motor's junk. So it's very, very delicate operation here. That piece now you gotta feel around here, make sure that it's in everywhere. Mm -hmm. Top and bottom, make sure it's all sealed, like center it. Yeah, fill it. Oh, I don't put that on yet. That's why. Fix that all up good, and then we gotta tighten it down first, then you put that on. While we're right here, if anyone watching these videos races race cars and you're looking to move up some spots or go faster, so all you gotta do is call this place. They'll hook you up with the parts to make you go faster. Close Racing Supply, Eldred, PA. You wanna check that? I'll check it after. You can, Don't as long as you. Keep it. Garbage. Tony bag of donuts. He had to go drop off Miley at Kelly's work. Kelly's coming to watch us. Kelly's coming up later. Grandma's coming to watch you guys. And then Kelly's coming up later when she gets out of work. 
All right. You think mm -hmm. we're ready? Yeah. We did everything? Yeah. I'm gonna get in. Let Put the hood on, guys. Hold on. Yeah. We also haven't really done a video talking about our sponsors either. I should. Got that's the older one. What? You have to see what they all do? Yeah. If you think you know, we'll come back to the hood after. Alright, so this is uh, my grandma. Mama's decor. She got mad at me for saying decor in the interview. She didn't really like mad, but. But then, this is still as bright. Yeah, that's what you do. I can't tell you what they did. So, the, grandma. grandma makes like crafts and arts and crafts and like uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Stella's Variety is a pallet store. Yep. They buy and sell pallets and then they sell stuff that's on the pallets and stuff like that. I got a store that like sells all sorts of cool stuff. Really? Cheap. Is obviously just excavating. It's kind of what it is. It's Steven Deinhardt, he races street stocks. Yep. Well, he and they do excavation yeah. work and mm -hmm. like septics and all sorts of stuff, paving. Yeah. This is my friend's dad, Justin's painting service. Obviously, as you can see, it's paper. He does painting. And staining and oh, all sorts of stuff like that. Exterior, interior. And then, we got over here, we got Pops Auto and Speed. There's Pops Automotive, but we changed. This is our business. It was, it was Pops Automotive. Now, it's Pops Auto and Speed. Because now we own the race shop down at Thunder Mountain, as you've seen in the last video. And we own this place. Where we do lift kits, wheels, and tires, and everything else. Accessories, body work, repair work, all sorts of stuff, restorations. This is Ted's Body Shop. That's one of your bigger sponsors. That's one, yeah, that's one of the biggest sponsors. They do body work. Yep, they own a body shop. I think they do repair work too, but mainly yeah. a body shop. He's a huge body shop. He's got like a bunch of employees. They're really yep. a big shop. Uh, this guy gives us uh, some free stuff. His name's Doug, Doug Speed Shop. Uh, he's in Binghamton, right here, and he gives us a lot of free stuff on the parts that we use. Neither of their names are Doug's. Doug, by the way, which is weird. I'm not sure where Doug came from, because the, the original owner is Bob, and then I believe James Cornell is buying it from him or taking it over or something, so that's, I don't know where maybe Doug's came from. Well, maybe... But they're a speed shop that we've always, something. I've always been using since I was a kid. Um, they've always helped me out and been real good to me, good to us, so, uh. We put him on there. He gave us a couple free things here and there. It hooks us up with hooked us up with good deals. Now we're obviously a dealer for this type of stuff ourselves, so, so we don't go down there. Really but, but we still appreciate him. Mm -hmm. like um so team fifteen. Oh well, you missed one. Yeah, I know. But this is Axel Noble. Uh actually over there we have a work thingy for over there. I can't see it. It's for paint. Uh we do painting also at Pops out and speed and, and body work and everything, but um, they give us a lot of paint. And we, what did we do? We passed the mark, so they gave us a whole bunch of free paint. Yeah, they set us up with a paint rack. Yep, and free paint. This is Team Fifteen. They are the people that helped us get the rear end together and set up the car. That's Glenn Reitner. Glenn Reitner. He actually just raced. He wins a lot. He built this whole car. Yeah. He put this whole car together. He's the reason why this car is so fast. He does all the work. We get. Dang, what'd you do to the wheel? I didn't know you know you did that. But anyways, Glenn. Glenn's the reason why this car is so fast. CRS sells us the parts, and Glenn puts them on and sets them up. Right. Yep. Over here, this is Joseph Burr's painting. He also does painting, just like Justin's painting service. Um, actually, I used to, like, race, like, little go-karts on dirt with cages around them, and that was my first sponsor. Joseph and Rivers was your first ever sponsor. On a go-kart, yep. And you raced, and now like, he's Mike Rod deals. Big car. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Nice guy. He's very big. He's he, got a ton of employees. He comes here a lot. He uses a lot. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, he's a customer. Yep, and these cracks are construction where the hole is. They're, uh, we're actually neighbors with them. They... Do con also do construction just like we are as excavating. And yeah, they come up here. They actually just got their golf cart done not that long ago. Kratzer Construction does not do anything like what Wheeler's Excavating does. Kratzer Construction does, he does like, a, he'll build like a pole barn or a garage or an addition. He'll do like interior remodels. 
So call them for that type of stuff. Sorry, Jen and Matt, that Dominic decided to put a big hole in there and rip it open like a can opener. Um, if you call it smoked, they have very good food. Uh, we get them a lot. They were on the car last year, too. Yeah, I'm thinking about unsubscribing to his page because he's, like, making food like every other day now and I'm gonna end up real fat if I keep seeing it and going and keep buying it because it's really good um this is Rex Rex's we also go there a lot very good food what was it like the third best food restaurant in New York I'd say it's the first best food restaurant in uh, America <laughs> best Italian restaurant you're gonna eat at yeah in America this is Kluki's Garage. They do towing? He does towing and he specializes in diesel repair. Yep. He's your go-to for diesel repair. This is Foxy Roxy. That's where I got my fresh haircut from. You got this fresh do? Yeah. And Jetty got this fresh do? Yeah. And Hayden too. But he's watching the car right now. We love Roxy. She's awesome. She's a very nice person. She does a lot. And she has a lot of people with her. And that is KG Spray Foam and Constellation. Construction. <laughs> I cannot read it. And um, um, he's also our neighbor. Oh, he's right over there. He does spray foam. He did our spray foam in our office that we still haven't finished because we're so busy. And uh, he also does construction work. Like, uh, Who? Our neighbor. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Kevin. He does the additions and stuff as well. I know Kevin as well. Um, this is Morse Trucking. He, I actually just went against him last night. He's the number 21 car. Um, you smashed him last night. I didn't mean to. You wrecked him. You came right up from the top of the track. You got loose, obviously. You didn't do it on purpose. You got loose and you came down across the track and he yeah. just happened to be right in the wrong Is spot at the wrong the time. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yep. But that's Moir Morris trucking. If anyone mm -hmm. needs any trucking done, get a hold of him. Yes. Good guy. This is Lloyd's Constructing. Construction. I it does. I, it does. It, it, I think they build houses. He does a lot of good construction work. Yeah. I've seen some stuff that they've done. They do a good job. And we have another one, but it's covered up by this, and we're going to put it on this. He actually did this wrap. It's right here. You need to see it. It's MR yeah. Graphics. MR Graphics, Matt Roberts, the one that did this wrap, did yep. Hayden's wrap, does all my wraps, oh, does, did your shirts. I don't think we said anything like that. He's the best there is around. He's just stupid busy. Yeah. He's too busy, and he needs more help, but you can't find help these days. So anyways, his sponsor was right here underneath this hood scoop. But we had to build, but we it had to build the a hood scoop because the fan had to come up through the hood. Oh, so we covered up his sponsor. So I asked him to come and I asked him to wrap the hood scoop and put his logo across it. But he's too busy. So I said, well, it's your sponsor. So if you're all right with it, I'm all right with it. So he's, as soon as he gets time, he was going to wrap that hood scoop, put his sticker on it. We already talked about CRS. So I think we got them all right. So now we probably ought to. Load this sucker up and get to the races before we miss hot laps. Put tape in to keep the mud out of the radiator for the hot laps and the heat. Time to pull the car out.
Is he gonna be done before you guys leave? Yeah, he's just finishing rinsing the wheels and tires off, and then he's done. That was a bit crowded up there. Yeah, we gotta bring all that stuff because there's a lot of people. Noah had it all stacked up. Noah had it all stacked up. Are the straps still coming loose? Yeah. All right, so made the five mile. Um, we're here. Got everything unloaded. Uh, sadly, there's only like seven. We counted seven factory stocks. Uh, there's supposed to be two right there, one right there, and there was two up there. Obviously, we, us. So yeah, um, they're doing hollows right now. I didn't go out, but we're gonna go out for eat soon.
You didn't see that? You didn't see it? Smell it. I can smell it. I don't think that's supposed to come off. I don't think that's supposed to come off.
couple times I was like, oh boy. Yeah. But you held it. So it was like a good race? Yeah, it was a good race. It was, my stomach was in knots the whole time. Cosmetic, it's not nothing major. Listen, for video editing purposes. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are you doing, Tommy Tsunami? Getting undressed. You're getting in your skivvies? Your girlfriend's gonna see this. What'd you just do? I think I won the race. You won? Are you happy? Yeah. Did you think you were gonna win? Um, now with my motor overheating at two, over 260 in the heat, it ran off before the whole way. Last couple lap, laps, it went up to 250, and then when I pulled off, it was a over 260 again yeah because this track gets really like sooty yeah and usually there's enough cars here to blow the soot off but there's not enough cars here to blow the soot off no so i plugged the radiator up but anyways you're happy you won oh. you redeemed yourself from last night i mean you were kind of disappointed last night yeah. even though you shouldn't have been you did what you had to do you tried and I got but, third. Uh, yeah so you're happy you won yep. where's your envelope how much money did you win $500, it was another special. Today, this was another special? 500 Last time we were here, I won 750 Shoot, you'd think we can almost make money doing this racing deal. <laughs> That's not ever going to happen. Only if someone wants to give me a car. <clears throat> Put you in something? You looking for a modified ride? If Matt Shepard is watching this and he wants to get a second car going, you drive one for him? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> 
All right, so say goodbye. Thank your fans. Thank uh, people for watching. Thanks Tell for them watching. like and subscribe. Thank you for helping me. Uh, like and subscribe. It's free. And watch the next video.